there's a little bitty gem in the description and um I'm not out there marching. I don't know if I could. My legs barely carry me anymore. I know one thing for sure that kindness and acceptance are the way of peace and I also believe that everybody in this world not just this country deserves to feel peace in their heart and um, in their soul I keep saying, a little kindness goes such a long way. <sighs> I remember my days of uh, rebelling and carrying signs and I was very aggressive, believe it or not. The girl you see in the videos and in front of you right now, she was a fighter. Yes, she was. Fighting for her same things we've been fighting for for years. This is not the first time we've had this movement of spirit across the earth. It's a good thing from where I'm standing because people have been oppressed for way too long. And um, I think that people are good, generally, and when people are moved, they're moved. And should they not act on that movement, it causes disease within themselves. I'm, again, talking from experience. And right now, my place is to touch those wounds and calm the heat that comes from within. I'm here to embrace and to love and to show you the beauty that I see through my eyes and share with you the downloads of spiritual thought that I am so humbly receiving. And I know that a lot of people are staying silent and still because they know in their stomachs that this is a truth that has to be released and 
they're living in fear as well. Because if they weren't, they would be standing too. And I know some of you are going to disagree with that. But I've lived from those perspectives my whole life. But I'm not afraid. I might be getting a little ancient. <laughs> sort of. But I've raised my children and I've instilled myself within them. My goodness. And they have grown like beautiful trees from that. Smart and brave. Accepting and loving. And also hating. It's a truth. Have you ever not hated something? I've hated the way I was treated by authorities and people in power. And I hated having my shoes tied together in the fifth grade. But hating it changed me and my life for something good change we saw it coming especially us ancient people people of truth and love who are done hating do you think I want to hate authority Do you think I want to be afraid of them? But you know what? I try to avoid the police as much as possible because they take one look at me and I'm a threat. Not to you guys. But y'all don't know me. All y'all know is what you see here. My mother said to me, Angel, everything is as it should be. It always has, and it always will be. So, I've done my share of hell raising the black sheep of the family or the rainbow sheep the hippie chick the out the is she really a dicky kid mm-hmm there's a feisty girl in there but she's tired fighting has never gotten me anywhere really except to not be fucked with, you know? And sometimes that's enough. And then someday you grow up and you think, what am I doing? So you just sit back and observe your children and your friends' children and all of our children doing the same thing we were doing. But it's good to get it out because holding it in causes disease and there's nothing the tyrants want more is to dope you up with their pharmaceuticals and that's a whole nother subject oh my god look at the description there's a gem there 